Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video we are going to talk about links. We will talk about what are links, what are the different types of links and how can we create it. We will also look at the concept of inodes. So let's begin. Before we jump to the terminal let's first understand some concepts in which first of all is the inode. Okay. Now in Linux everything is treated as a file. For example, directory is also considered as a file, right? Internally, and then file, of course, it is also be treated as a file. Then devices is also treated as a file. So basically, everything in Linux is treated as a file. Okay. Now each file in Linux has an associated data structure. Okay. So associated data structure which contains various important information regarding that particular file okay for example who is the owner of the file okay or user id similarly group id okay similarly there are what is the size and then permission okay permission right then what is the type of file okay type of file right that could be like either it is a directory which is a normal file or whether it is a pipe file okay you may not know about what are the pipe files but later in these tutorials i will describe the pipe files also okay or it is a normal file or it is a device file like that okay so like that data structure contains the various metadata information regarding the file okay let's say for file 1 this is the data structure then there will be another file for that there will be another data structure okay which has the various information regarding that particular file similarly let's say there is another file in linux okay then there will be another data structure associated to that file okay associated to this file okay so to identify each data structure uniquely a unique number is given to every data structure okay and that unique number is known as the inode number okay inode number so we can say that i inode number is the unique number that can identify the unique data structure okay and data structure has the information about a unique file we can also say that each file in a linux has a inode number associated with that that identifies the data structure and that contains the meta information regarding the file okay note that in the meta information file name is not included okay file name is not included okay note that there are also other types of files here for example character device file block device file like that okay i will have a separate video in which i will explain all types of files okay so this is about the basics of the inode okay now if you want to view the inode number for a file or directory then you can go to the terminal and currently i am inside document which has one directory and one file okay and if i want to view the inode number then i can specify the option here ls dash i okay i stands for inode so if i press enter you will see the inode numbers are also showing up okay so this inode number is assigned to the data structure that has the meta information of this ori file okay now let's talk about the links okay links is also a type of file right which point to the another file you can also say it, it is pointed to the another file okay links are generally used for creating shortcut for example let's say we have a folder in the temp okay with the name date and inside it we had a file let's say f i l e okay now in my home directory we i can create a link for this file okay let's say the name of the link is li right now basically this link is now pointing to this file okay so if i'm opening this file basically contents of this file will be open if i'm changing the content of this file then the content of this file will also be changed okay similarly let's say that there is a directory let's say this file is not present and and i am creating the link for this directory okay let's say the name of this link is lib okay now if i am doing here ls of lib then it will give me all the files and directory which is present inside this dir directory okay so basically either i can write here ls slash 10 slash d or i can do ls then inside the home directory i am creating with the name lib okay both will give me what is present inside this directory right so links are a useful feature in linux and there are two types of links which in which first of all is the symbolic link okay which is also known as the soft link and the another one is the hard link okay hard link okay there is a minor differences between these two let's jump to the terminal and understand these two 
link first let's talk about this symbolic link and it is also known as the soft link okay so currently we have the dir1 as a directory and ori is a file okay inside the dir1 if you see here other content then we have another directory with the name dir11 and uh, then another file fi okay and inside dir11 you will see there is another file okay now let's say from documents i want to create a link for this file okay so i can write here the command ln okay since we are creating the symbolic link then i have to specify s here okay then the path for the file okay so path for the file will be inside dir inside dir11 and then the another okay and then the name of the link so let's say the name of the link is lq okay so the link if you if i press enter this link has been created okay note that whenever a symbolic link is created and if i do with the ls dash s then here it will be written at the rate okay for directory it is slash and for normal file it is nothing okay so now if you view the content of these two files it will be similar okay so let's say i am finding the first content of which is present inside some remote location okay another right this is the another file present in that and if i do here cat of lk then you will see the same output is showing up okay now let's change the content using the link okay so i'll do the nano of lk which is the name of our link and i'm changing it with that this is changed with link okay i'll save it and now let's again view the content then you will see the content of the original file has also been changed okay and the content of link will also be changed so basically when i am creating a symbolic link then any changes made in the one data structure will also be reflected in the another data structure okay or we can say another inode now remember that in the symbolic link the inode numbers are different so basically both of these inodes are different for that if you see the inode number of lk this is 11 uh, this is the value 1179842 okay and if you see the inode number for this it will be different okay remember that this is different okay now if you want to view where is my link pointing to then you can write here ls dash l then the name of the link let's say lk okay then you will see lk is pointing to this file okay and the in the left hand side it will be written l okay l basically means that it is a symbolic link file right so this is about how we can create the symbolic link for files now let's see how we can create the symbolic link for directories okay so i can specify here ln dash s then i want to create the symbolic link for this directory okay and the name of this will be lid okay so sorry i have to specify here ln okay so now if you see here ls dash l lid then you will see a symbolic link for this directory has been created okay now let's say i'm going inside the lid okay which is the link for the directory okay now if you see and now if i do ls then it is telling me what is present in this directory okay so basically it is telling me what is present inside this directory for example if i go back and i do here ls then dir and then dir11 right then you will see it is saying that a file with the name another is present there okay so let's say i again go to the link it's like a magic door that whenever i am going to the lid it is basically bringing me to this location okay and now let's create a file here let's say uh, jo okay then i'll again go back and let me again run this command okay now you will see the file is also created in this directory okay now let me tell you some other points also what happens when the original file gets deleted for example if you see here we have this link which is pointing to this file okay so now let's remove this original file okay so i'm removing this another okay now if i again run this command then you will see this is in the red color now this link is pointing to the non existing file okay if i do the cat of lik then you will see this no such file or directory present okay because we had deleted the original file okay similarly we have another link with the name lid if i remove the directory now let's say inside dir1 i want inside dir i will remove this directory okay now you will see that this is also in the red color indicating that this directory does not exist now okay now let's say that you want to delete a link so for that you can use the command unlink 
or you can use the remove okay remove because it is also our link is also a kind of file okay so let me remove with the unlink command so i can write here l i k okay so it it has removed that this link okay and we can also remove it using the rm command so i can write here rm l i b okay so now if you see our this link has also been removed so this was about this symbolic link now let's talk about the hard link okay so first of all hard link can only be created for the file not for the directory okay so let me create there is a file inside the d i yes there is a file and let's create a hard link so i will not specify the option dash s here okay then let's say the name of our hard link is lik okay and sorry here i have to specify the file name so it is inside the dir and inside the si okay so now this link with the name lik has been created and it is actually pointing to this file okay note that in symbolic link both the i nodes or the data structure was different but here there is a common data structure and we have the different name to access that particular data structure okay so basically both of this link and the original file are pointing to the same data structure okay so both of this link and the file have the same i node number also let's see the i node number okay ls dash i i want to see the i node number for this so this is the i node number and if i also give the i node number for the file then you will see it is the same okay so basically both are pointing to the same particular data structure right now if i do here ls of l and then link then you will see here it is not showing me that where it is pointing to okay so this only happen when we are using the symbolic link not with the hard links okay also note that at the end there is a dash written okay not the l okay l is written for the symbolic link and dash is particularly used for the file okay so basically it is just a file but if it is a symbolic link then here it will have been written l okay another thing let me first write something to this file original file let's say this is original file okay and now if i do the cat of link then it will give me the same content okay now let's say i am deleting my original file okay sorry i have to specify here rm command all right but now if you see our link can still be used okay so basically it is not a hanging link that we were seeing in the symbolic links okay i can also change the content of this file right so i can write here this is from link let's see okay then you will see the content is still changed why it is happening because as i told you both were pointing to the same data structure if i am removing the one it is not going to eliminate that link also basically that particular data structure can be used with the two ways okay in the hard links but in the soft links we have the two different data structure and our symbolic link was pointing to the data structure of another file okay and if i was removing it then it was calling as the hanging link okay but in the hard links both are pointing to the same i node okay either i can access it using this uh, original file or i can use it with the link okay another thing that you can also look at the link count field okay so basically this is the link count field okay i have not talk about the owner of this file or the group files or the permissions but i will talk about this in the later video but here if you see this this is actually the link count field okay for directories it gives us how many sub directories present inside it okay so for example if i go to the d okay and if i do ls dash a then you will see by default there are always two directories okay which is the current directory represented with dot and the previous directory that is the double dot okay if i create another directory let's say with the name sd and i go back and if i again do the ls sorry ls dash l then you will see now it is increased by the one okay for the file it will give us here the hard links okay for example let's say i am creating the link hard link for the file present inside uh, let's say the name of the file is wer and i am creating it with the name of l i i i okay now if i do here ls dash l then you will see that this is two why because the one way is that i access it from this location or i can access it using in going inside the dir one for example if i do here ls dash i 
D, then you will see this is also T. Okay, why? Because for particular data structure, we have the two different hard links. Okay, if I create another hard link for the same file, let's say D, and then the name of the file was W E R, and let's say L I K K K K. Okay, now if I do L S dash L L, sorry, L S dash L D, then you will see here it is written three, and uh, if I do let's just say within this folder, then it will give me. Three here. Okay. Similarly, this is also increased. Okay. Because for but same data structure, we have now three different hard links. Okay. For directories, it will tell me how many sub directories are present. Okay. And if I'm creating the symbolic link for a file, then this link count will not increase. Let me give you an example here. Let's say I'm writing here ln dash s. Then I will create the link. Let's say for the same block uh, that is present inside dir, and the name is wer. And let's say this is s. And I like and k. Okay. If I press enter, and now if I see this here is still one. Okay. So basically, this is not getting increased by one when I am creating the symbolic link. But when I am creating the hard link, then it is going to increase. Okay. And for directories, it will tell me how many sub directories are present. So this is how we can use these links. So you can use some of the differences between soft link and uh, hard links here. Okay. so these are the some of the differences note that if you are using the multiple file system then you can create a link present in one file system for a file present in another file system okay but it is not going to possible for the hard links file system is basically the way of organizing the data inside a drive okay there are various file system like ext3 is there ext4 is there then their window uses ntfs mostly Okay, so it is also possible that you can use the multiple file system simultaneously. Okay, one last thing that you can also create these links using the cp command. Okay, so if I open the manual page of cp and if I search for let's say hard link, okay, hard link, then you will see that if I want to create the hard link, then I can specify the option dash l. Okay, similarly for creating the symbolic link, I can use the dash s symbolic. Okay, I have to. Go further. This here it is dash s option. I have explained it using the ln command, but you can use the cp command for it also. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.